Hello everybody. Today we are going to do a small tutorial related to pebble painting. So you all would be wondering why am I talking about pebble painting today? Uh, so this is one of my hobbies just like I you know design mandalas I design uh, other some other forms of paintings okay this is something which I have developed uh, since many years since last four five years I have been doing this and uh, so we'll start off without wasting time about it so let's go ahead when we're talking about pebbles, it's all about choosing the type of rock that you want. Okay, so usually I choose different types of rocks, but I have recently uh, started liking this smooth rocks, which are available at home decor shops. So you'll need to go ahead and check for these kind of rocks. Okay, although uh, there are other kind of rocks also which I have just picked up directly from some riverbed in, in Nasik, okay, India, Nasik. And um, I have painted this on, on a rock which is just formed because of erosion and a lot of other natural factors, okay. You can see this rock as well. This is also from a riverbed, okay. And uh, as I said, this is a recent one which I had made, which has a mermaid on it. So um, I'm very fascinated with mermaids. And I often like to use glittery colors, golden colors in my paintings. I love to see them that way. So this has been made on, um, again, on a smooth rock, which I showed you, which we are going to use in our tutorials today also. So uh, leaving this, what else do we require? We require some water, of course, because we're going to paint. We require some brushes, brushes of different size, sizes. Depending on the rock size, see that you have some fine brushes, okay? The triple zero kind of brushes. Uh, we are using some acrylic colors. Acrylic colors are easily available over the net in shops, okay? Uh, I'm also using a golden color which I like, so pearl colors. There are two, three pearl colors which I'm going to use. Uh, this is a toothpick, very easily available anywhere, okay, which I'm using as a dotting tool, okay. So without wasting time, we'll start off with something called as creating a base for our rock. So uh, supposing if you're painting a smooth rock like that. What you actually do is uh, actually give a base color to it. Now, why, why do we give a base color? We, we give a base color so that the, the design that you're making on it sort of highlights and makes it look good. It's, it, it actually pops out. So if this is the rock, I have just taken a few, a little paint, black paint on it and I'm just painting it. You can see this. So if the rock is a bigger, larger rock, you see that you take a big brush for it so that you don't have to waste your time painting it. So I love using acrylics because acrylics dry very fast. And you know, even if you make mistakes <laughs> with acrylics, you can actually use another color on the on it and the painting just looks flawless so this is how i have made the base so once you color this base it should dry off after drying you need to give another second coat on it so that's how you will be painting the rock. So for saving my time, what I have done is I have already painted the base for one of the rocks that I'm going to do the painting on today. So you can see this is a rock which is already painted. So we'll go ahead and move, okay. 
So before you all start thinking a lot, let me just clarify that I am a non-artist. I am a person who has done nothing in art. Okay. And um, thanks to my husband who used to do a lot of touring and um, often would come late home from his work and because he used to travel all the way very far away from my house. And uh, that's the reason how while waiting for him, I developed this hobby of painting. So I'm a non-artist and um, of course this video is for everyone who's a non-artist as well as of course people who are artists also may see this. Okay, so uh, I'm born to make mistakes and I believe in, uh, in something called as non-perfection. So none of us are, you know, born perfect. What we are going to do on this is uh, now going to be a peacock feather. So peacock feather is something which I love a lot to make. And I often make it. So I have picked up a golden color. If you can see, this is a golden metallic color which I'm using. And so always remember what, uh, what to do while you're using this brush. So these are all um, non-artist uh, advices which I'm giving. <laughs> so while I'm using this brush, if you see I'm using, uh, while using the brush to keep my hand still, I'm actually keeping my finger you know, I'm holding my finger, I'm keeping my finger on one side of the rock and holding the rock so that my hand doesn't shake, shakes, okay? So this is the inner eye of the peacock feather. There is another big one which is coming. Okay. So when you're using acrylic, see that you use less water. When you use less water on acrylics, it is good. Otherwise, the color spreads a lot to the other part of the design where you actually don't need it to be. Okay, so we have, we have almost done our, done the center part. Okay, now we're going to draw the stem. So you can see everywhere while I'm drawing, my little finger is always on the base of my stone. It helps me to, you know, keep my hand steady. So I'm doing this all with my with a golden color. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to draw the small hair like feathers as you all have seen. So it is, why am I doing this feather tutorial with you all today? Is because today is Kartik Purnima. I know, I think, all of you, most of you all would be knowing about it. So we are drawing this to remember Krishna. Okay. So you all can draw these feathers the way you want, you know. You can be as creative as possible. So remember always that whenever you make mistakes with acrylic, there is another thing that you can also correct your mistakes. So you need not get worried. Okay, so like supposing after painting this completely in, uh, with a base of black color, if the golden spreads or anything like that, I can just wait for the golden to um, you know, actually dry and try and 
use black on it again. I'm just kind of keeping it down. I hope it is clear to all of you all still. I'm making the feathers. I think all of you all would have seen a peacock feather. It is not perfect. Anything in nature, if you see, it is never perfect, but it is so very individual and so very fascinating. So beautiful to see. So this golden color that I'm using is actually a pearl golden color, which you get it in any acrylic in, in any stationery shops around wherever you have, you know, a A shop where you get all art material. So So this is how our stone, the background of course is ready. Now, I'm going to actually use a beautiful pearl green bluish color, okay? So it is actually turquoise blue as it is written on the on the bottle. So I'm not an artist and hence I do not know how to name colors as well. <laughs> okay. So in between I'm just putting this turquoise color feathers as well, feather hairs as well. So this is a pearl color again. So pearl colors, majorly all pearl, pearl colors shine and glitter. So that makes this rock looks, looks special. So I'm being non-perfect by, you know, putting the turquoise color feather wherever I want. So you can keep moving the pebble, the stone, wherever you want to, you know, be able to paint as comfortably as you want.
colors are something which fascinate me a lot which attract me a lot so you know this is how it's all glittery now so we'll start taking a toothpick so this is a toothpick what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to dot the surface in between and all around the you know so i am using a little bit of sky blue in the center so if you see i am taking very little color on the tip of my tip of my toothpick so you have to be very careful why when you are using the toothpick again an advice from a non artist to you all okay because what happens is it may spread and you know it may actually make the surface of your rock so i just pick it up for you all in the center as you see now what am i going to do on this rock is uh, i'm going to use a lighter shade then a little more darker then a little more darker okay of this of similar colors or different colors now uh, you can make it according to your choice you can you know plainly just paint it the color that you want okay or do it the way i am doing it okay so there is no compulsion to be you know creative so when you talk about creativity it is all uniqueness in all the individuals around us so you can be as unique as possible so if you see this is how this looks now the outer surface i want to you know make it with light green I'll just pick up this green these are artist acrylics that i am using so i'm using this if you see the dots are very fine so now i'm going to on the top use a different color again maybe a lighter blue than what i used in the center this is how the lighter blue looks see that the dots dots are visible when you are doing it i'll try and use some of these in the center too while i'm doing it i'm trying and seeing to to make it tiny ones in between the darker shade of blue so this is how they look now now what i'm going to do is to highlight uh, this 
what I have made. I guess I'm going to use a little bit of white in the center, then the light blue, then the dark blue. So this is the white, the light blue, the dark blue from inside out. Let's just see whether we can make it the way we are thinking about. So what do we do of this with these pebbles after they are painted? So these pebbles can you know, uh, be a part of your dining table to just enhance the beauty over there, or uh, they can be uh, show pieces kept inside your see-through cupboards, okay? Or uh, they can actually be actually be kept around the planters, the indoor planters that you have in your house, okay? Or you can also use them as, or you can also use them as, you know, your, okay, so I have spoiled the, the toothpick, so I'm picking up a new one, okay? So if you see, I'm trying and making tiny dots, not disturbing the top, turquoise blue color, which I have used. And so in between the feathers, I'm adding these dots to just kind of enhance or, you know, so that the paint actually looks So this is what we have done with our white color, okay? So the upper part also, you need to do the similar kind of things, similar kind of dots. So these dots will actually make them look very unique. Now, after I finish this, I actually uh, take the another sky blue color. So this is just a little, you can say that in, in white color, even if you have you know, a darker shade of blue, what you can do is you can keep adding uh, Mm. To your white, you can keep adding a little bit of blue to get the lighter shades, like, uh, you know, a lighter shade of blue. And then to that lighter shade, you can keep adding more and more blue to make it dark. So I, I already have dark blue, light blue, all these colors with me and hence I'm using it. Otherwise, you can do it the way. So what I'm doing is further ahead of my white dots, white dotting that I have done. I'm using the lighter shade of blue now. So you're seeing it is a kind of monochromatic design that I'm making. Again, I'm not an artist, but I've read a lot of things and monochromatic means a similar color of color, but different shades of the same color that you'll use. Okay. So I just hope all of you all feel happy seeing this video and all of you all make a similar kind of video or make a similar kind of a stone or this helps you to, you know, keep yourself occupied and busy during these not so very nice days of COVID. Okay. It, may, it puts a smile on your face, I hope.
So I love painting and I love listening to music while I paint. It just makes me so happy to be with myself. And colors are of course something which makes me happy always. Those colors will either be colors of the flowers which I see during my walks or colors which I, you know, actually see in the sky during the sunset or during the sunrise or colors which I used to paint. So if you see, uh, we have done with our, you know, light blue also. So the lightest shade. Now we'll go with a darker shade, a little more darker shade of blue. Okay. So again, you have to be very careful while taking the color on the toothpick. Try and see that you take minimal color. And so I'm going, so this was the white color which I used, then a lighter blue, then a little more darker blue, uh, which I'm going to use now. So I'm sort of coming outside of the feather while I'm using this blue. Can you see this? I hope all of you all can see it. Okay. So, so if you see, I'm coming already outside the feather design, which is helping my uh, my pebble to actually be seen. So everything that you make, think about it and see how you can make it, you know, a design which many, and you know, which, which is very eye-catching sort of a thing, yeah. So, all right, as I told you all in the beginning, I'm already done with this design with this peacock feather. But again, if any one of you feels that you need to do some correction, <laughs> like I am actually feeling that I want to do a correction here. You can see this small white dot, which is right on my golden part of my feather, which I do not like. So I'm going to actually go ahead and correct it. So as I said, I love acrylics because they are all for the non-artist people like me. So I'm just sort of correcting it by applying a golden color on top of it. You can also add a second coat of this golden color to make it more precise. So when you do this, what happens is It looks more detailed, okay? So I'll be making one more video in a few days, which will 
actually show you all how do you seal these rocks because after doing all this you can of course use the normal uh, varnishes which are available in the market there are a lot of spray varnishes which are available so you can just spray spray the varnish over it and um, and it's absolutely fine but then um, if you seal it the way i do you can also keep the, these rocks in water without you know smudging the colors so i just love acrylics because you can correct them as and when you require that's it so the rock is already done pebble rock paperweight whatever you can call it and this is how it looks it's already shining i guess but of course when you seal it it shines more so thank you very much for being with me love you all see you all soon in my new video where we are actually going to you know see how to actually um, seal these rocks so thank you very much bye see you all